Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Lamplighter's League Blinder playthrough. It is week number 17, I think, and today we are trying to defeat or go against the Castro. Uh, we had uh, quite a bit of setbacks with Marteau and Strom lately, but Strom is still kept very, very low, whilst Marteau, as you can see, sort of begins to spin up his wheel so i need to dampen his over eager and zealous approach a bit but so far we're still doing relatively well i think for week number 17 uh, but we need to uh, speed it up a little bit so uh, we still have two more weeks to sit out on isaac which brings poor nima back uh, into action don't have a third item but I think we're overall fine let's give her some armor and I think we're good to go looks like a very solid team to me let's rock that hunts our informant is here somewhere the sooner we kill it the sooner our bird will sing about the nectar okay so that's the deep slayer I think that was the beast uh, that the Arms informant wanted uh, to Shall we put them out of their misery? get killed. Won't be a minute. Uh, stupid uh, little sentries there. This chap's mine. Nice little sucker punch. Oh, and we're being spotted out. Unnecessary. Who did get us? Okay. We can make it out of Good. This. All of you need cleansing. Thank you. And we need you to hand over nothing. extra AP. Very good. And if we are hitting this. two locations on the map how about this and so it's too long what's the point moves over charge more for this fabulous hit I like it fortunately can't really reach the guy over there one two barely can reach them so that's one Hilarious if you think about it. Didn't want to start the whole combat like this. Good, and Anna Sophie. Uh -huh. 
Reduces cooldowns by three. Good, let's see what the enemies got. They got a lot of melee characters. And even more. Very good. Aim shot. That's enough out of you, isn't it? That's one down. Here. This cleanses the slow. That's why I did it. Which allows us to regularly move over here, just like you would expect. That's only 50% chance. Why? Half cover? This thing can take cover. It's floating. Wow. Double crit. We're in a good mood. We are in a good mood after a double crit. Minus cooldowns. Oh yeah, we're getting our cooldowns back. In like no time. That's another hit. And with it another kill. Make it a triple. That was close enough. Nice little knockdown. Minus cooldowns and that's a nice little proper hit. Again, minus cooldowns and unfortunately for us cannot move too far away but fortunately for us we can move over here so if she is going to come can hit both uh, with our ultimate Take this. there you go This should cleanse blend, uh, bleeding, right? Super strong once the card is upgraded. Two times motivation. Nah, I'll take the hundred percent one in a second. Don't carry on so. So that, I then that, which brings him to the ground. That means no more cover. <sighs> unless, of course, unless. Unless we have multiple, uh, multiples of them. Than falling out of love. Uh, let's move to here and get a name shot going. Ha! Did you see that? 113 holy I indeed did see that and I am shocked by the amount of damage that uh, you can deal Oh wonderful another round Oh no These crabby things I don't like it
Because they should shred armor. Bleeding and armor is shred. Uh, well, partially shred apparently. This guy is knocked into the table. Fair enough. I want to try to preserve our ultimate. Farewell. Reload. Unfortunately, that means we have not enough AP. So we need to use our talisman. To get enough AP. Very nice. Oh gosh, we're good. The team now that it is upgraded, it is uh, doing a fine work. Bleeding and armor shred and that's a kill. Having the ability to reduce cooldowns by three per shot is just insane. Get a frag grenade. Hmm. What's this thing? Get a bit of lore. There seems to be some something or someone behind. I wonder why the banished court is active in this house. There seems to be like nothing here. The floor feels strange, spongy, like walking on the ocean floor. What's this then? firebomb I could wait if we get a firebomb here can almost guarantee that that deep uh, stalker Cheers. is vulnerable against fire just a hunch but if I was a game designer I would design it that way more medical healing I noticed the longer I play the game, the less damage I'm taking. I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is Watch my back. Just how it goes. Wanted to hit both of them, was greedy, and it didn't work out. Fantastic. There you go, and there you go. Let me help. Wow, if we're critting, it's not a, a one-shot kill, but it is a very, very close to it. That's what you get. I'm 
I'm not here to play games. Good, a single one <laughs> cannot stand against us. I don't see how he would do it. Good. That's sorted. Are you ready? Hasten flask. We already have that, right? Yeah, we have that. Got a brass key. I hope it's a good card. Good old mode of fate, which is always very welcome. I can use this. Okay, doki. Let's get into the next room, shall we? Apparently no, not in that direction. This was uh, the room where we we're getting all of the loot from. And the next one will be the Deep Slayer himself, I assume. Would make sense. Thunder bomb. Wait, wait, wait. That is one where we can drop enemies down. That's more important than a hasten uh, than a hastening flask. Oh, lovely! We found where they worship the monster squid. This will be of use. Some more ether. I like the uh, whole old mansion feel. One moment. Yeah, we don't need the uh, moat yet, the second wind. This was a ballroom once. Now it's a dripping abattoir. Kill the Deep Slayer. Stand by. The most dangerous of the Devouring King's brood. In some circles of the Nicastro cult, deep slayers are worshipped like demigods. <laughs> they should cause some trouble. Good. Solidly knock them down. We can do it. Everybody else gets a cleanse and what's read it. You know what Go to ahead. Do. Then do it. Um, moving on. Under 
underestimate me. I dare you. The way you fight is terrible. Very nice. Lots of cooldown reduction. Armor is being shred. I am tired of your face. Okay, the Deep Stalker couldn't do anything really. Moving up. Good at this. We're getting very, very good at it. We need AOE damage. Yeah, we can we can cleanse the burning. He cannot that easily cleanse the burning. Ha, that will make our snitch happy. Enemies alerted. Well, fantastic timing, eh? Let's talk about great. Absolutely awesome timing. No, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, if we're not standing in the front, oh, this is going to be a bit of a problem. burning anyways might as well continue to I charge extra for this good this guy is dead not so fast ouch ouch Finished yet? I can't be. Huh. That one does look bad. By the way, how am I supposed to uh, not get overwhelmed by that immediately? So self buff. Kills me. Especially if it kills me. Huh. Into. Heal. Right. I'm all right, thanks. I'm not stopping now. Um. Just crazy how 
now that went from okay to not okay at all. What is new? Not close to. I'm fine. I can keep fighting. Good. Let's start getting uh, cleansing ourselves. Not sure if that gives us back a second AP. Yes, it does. Um. Healing or not healing, that's a good question. I think not healing might be risky. Keep on like this, and the noble houses will be ruins in no time. Those two taken down. But it's necessary. Well done, old fellow. Uh, we need to get these guys down. Very much so. And the best way of dealing maximum amount of damage is with a grenade. Okay, cool. Same deal here, get them ready, and now it's time for cleanup. One, two, three, straight into the wall. than falling in love. Okay. That needs to be good enough for now. Enemies soon are going to come back in. Very good. I think you need another push kick, my friend. Let's part ways. Look, Mum, no scope. Cool. I uh, hit the right one right away and we're reloading Come on, reload go. here that reduces cooldowns no, exactly worth strike. triple cooldown reduction oh, this guy is bleeding again and stick and move kill One move. Two moves. Eyes up, reinforcements. Here. Cleansing everyone. What a brutal uh mm, what a brutal situation where essentially everything was we fine and all of a sudden side. five people appeared at the end of our turn. I'm not even sure how to react to that.
Good, we got four AP. Let's let's rock. Good hit. Uh, we're just going to control this guy. Good. I'm buying tonight. Kill and hit, which is, I guess, as good as we can expect it to be. Our dance is done. You stay away from me. Hit to the ground. Another hit. A glass jar. <laughs> and another hit. Okay, that was so far the hardest fight that we had. Not because of the deep uh, spawn. The deep spawn actually was surprisingly straightforward. I think I would even go as far as to say, as a boss, uh, almost disappointing, right? But uh, the nice. I just realized you get two AP back if you're using your ultimate. That might come in handy. So the deep spawn itself was almost outright uh, disappointing as a, a, as an enemy, but I have no idea what the development goal uh, was of. Never enough of this. How about we are uh, we're just going to spawn five people in, knowing farewell that uh, you are in melee range, and then all of those five people will just completely unload on you in one turn i don't know i i have a hard time understanding that pardon me specifically if you think about it what was the great counterplay that i could have done here Could I have positioned differently? Nah, not without knowing that they would come there. Uh, I could have maybe thrown that uh, flask. Into the old pocket with you. That knockdown flask, but here's the deal. I had no AP on the characters that had a knockdown flask. So is the solution need a knockdown flask on everyone? I think that was a combination of bad luck and simply what not we very well here? designed. Good. Regained a couple of consumables. I think that in itself was okay. We also got our signature abilities back. So it's not bad. What I dislike though is uh, we went down to mortal danger on two of the characters. Granted I could stabilize again, but it was just an enormous amount of um, of damage that we've taken. Castro's ancestors. Each looks worse than the last. Okay. This will be of use. We got a couple of ethers. Uh, that worked very well. 
Always want to get those sweet, sweet upgrades, yeah. don't we? Our end of the deal held up. So, our informant had better give us the Nectar's location now, eh? Yeah, if you do have a better idea of how I could have avoided uh, going down there, leave a comment down below. That would be interesting to hear. I'm not sure if I've really made a playing error. Maybe I'm overseeing something, but just spawning five right next to you that are ready to go. There was no, at least I might have overseen it, but there was no a warning that that would happen. They were just, yeah, starting to spawn. Let's pour in a good glass and um, hopefully at least the storyline mission uh, is worth it. We got our first fragment, guys, so that's very much worth it. Good. Wounded can be stabilized one fewer times in missions, recovers after sitting out one weekly mission. Okay. Let's get the card reveal. I want to get some good cards. The bull. That three turn knockdown might be helpful. The behemoth, more armor, less speed, not bad either. And the companions, when using buff abilities, this agent heals one stress. It's 25% chance to have uh, ability cooldowns reduced. Okay, okay, uh, that is great. If we had a third slot, that would be absolutely fantastic. When using buff abilities. We don't need the Herald on her. I'm wondering if we want to give her a knockdown. She's typically quite far behind. But sometimes I can uh, see that this here could be a good um, use of her time. The other option would be to completely um, make Ingrid a melee character. Give her a bull. That also reduces over time. That's more knockdown. I think we're going to do that. Just embrace One the fact that the you nose. don't have uh, ranged hard. attacks. We used them a few times, but I think the bull is great. Be a moth uh, might not be bad either. But can't really fit it uh, in well it could fit it into the sniper buff abilities lower speed more armor not typical for a sniper but in case she ever gets targeted might as well use that a sniper doesn't crack under pressure a sniper executes I have never seen a fight for eight rounds, so I'm not sure if that really is worthwhile as an upgrade. Have we ever done eight rounds in a combat? No. This is good. I like it. The additional cooldown reduction could be nice here, but unfortunately we don't have uh, the power yet to wield three cards. Minus one threat. I Could like it. Breakthrough we've been waiting for. Good. Completed the Nicastro job. Zorana Nicastro, poet, duelist, and bloody handed zealot with a swarm of horrors at her command. The source of her power, a mysterious elixir called Abyssal Nectar. She makes it at the Pump House, a secluded distillery on the vault. And in our hands, it will be the key to her undoing. Very good. This will be of use. We'll put 
this to use. All right, unfortunately, the court gets to play as well. We held back the Castro just for a bit. Your mission was successful. Several hours ago, our Nicastro informant started speaking, and he's hardly stopped since. Yeesh. Guess that Deep Slayer really was binding his tongue. He told me everything. Everything we need to know to retrieve the Abyssal Nectar. So? Where is it? A distillery on the coast of the Baltic Sea. He calls it the Pump House. The Nectar is made there. And special tools are required to, in our new friend's words, extract it. The extraction tools are kept on a tramp steamer, docked at the pump house. You'll need to board the ship before entering the facility. Board a boat, steal the extraction tools, then extract the nectar. One more thing. Our new friend tells me that Lady Nicastro has been fortifying the pump house and its surrounding docks. You might disable those extra defenses if you wish. Or you could simply spring the heist. I leave it to you to decide. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. We still did not get KA or Serenity, but it is not great. To help you. Do you want to know your fate? So may it bring you peace. Healing abilities or consumables uh, also remove two stress. This cool. will be a more robust bomb. Agents wounded. Not sure what that heal here means. Why can't we just heal the wounded status? Ah, I was about to ask that. Why can't we just heal the wounded status? That's what the healing is for. Cool. Yeah, I would want to keep both of these agents around. I uh, want to use them in the next mission because I assume... I assume that we can now finish the job. These heists will not be easy. The catalyst will be well protected. We could sabotage uh, the mission, network interference, and what are these options here? Destroy the children of the deep to guard uh, that guard need Castro's pump route. Um, so here we get the reward, Seric Steel. That's the Castro heist. I see it. Okay. Here we would get the Castro's talisman. Not sure what what exactly does that do. Prep work. And here we would get the Castro's armor. No, it's a uniform. Okay, it's just a uniform. Okay, apparently it's all about making progress now. And this here is Serenity. It's called Serenity? No. Seric Steel, sorry. It's not called Serenity, it's Seric Steel. And apparently it is very rare. You can only get it on those missions. Tide spawns are a major presence in this mission. Frenzied and move with two speed. Here you get um, prep work missions are optional. Personally overseeing this mission. 
Children of the Deep are uh, present. So this is it, as difficult as it gets, but so far it hasn't been that difficult. And I say that well knowing that we just had been uh, quite easily schooled with uh, five people uh, approaching us and knocking us down. Watch your back. I wonder, is the talisman available later? Or is that unique? And if so, what does the talisman do? On the other hand, this would be finally the upgrade of of uh, the melee weapon that I've been looking for. I don't know if that means that Nicastro will die right there. If that would be the case, it would give us way more time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know a lot of things. That's the problem. I'll look I'll need to figure that out until the next time I need to figure that out until the next time 12 points if we go for the main mission that's 12 six uh, there on the other mission um, Might as well give Anna Sophia more hit points and that nice little restore ability upgrade so she's completely decked out. Ingrid and Sophia. Very good team. Very good team. Very good team. I think that's pretty much it for today. I don't think that there is a lot more uh, to unpack. I thank you for watching as always. If you like Lamplighter's Leak, uh, leave a comment down below. And since I don't know what we're going to do the next time, you might want to let me know. Would you attack right away and get that Serenic Steel? Or would you do the prep missions? Uh, that's going to be interesting. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.